hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our single player let's play how is everybody doing today oh man guess what today is officially the very first episode of 2020 and i'm so happy that you guys are here with me i'm so excited to get this year started i got so many awesome plans not only just for this world but for the channel in general lots more tutorials lots more let's plays we're back on source block coming up right now i'm gonna be recording some cool stuff this weekend and oh man i got some time lapse stuff ready to go and we're gonna have some fun so let me know what you guys want to see on the channel going forward what do you want to see in this world too i'm so excited just to keep it going keep keep the fun times rolling but let me know in the conversation what do you want to see in the channel coming up in 2020 uh let me know just put the hashtag 2020 let me know but also man i had a great new year's i had a great little vacation little mini vacation i had a couple days i went out uh to Asheville, north carolina and i had so much fun i ate so much food Go check out my Twitter right now if you want to see the pictures of all this food that I had. Oh, my God. I'm going to go on a diet for 2020. That's it. Right now, starting today, I'm, I'm eating nothing but um, kale and... And like and like all kinds of vegetables, okay? And, and, and working out, I'm gonna be all fix wool sausage. Get ready, 2020, beautiful stuff is kept happening. But you know, I ate so much, and it's so much fun. I went hiking. Go check out my Twitter though, if you guys want to see pictures of that trip. It was so much fun. But man, thank you all so much again for the support on not only this series but the channel in general. We just crossed 155 thousand subscribers and we're growing every day and I, I, can't, I can't thank you enough man you guys are making my dreams come true but thank you i love your face uh and let's keep it going let's keep it going but let me do a quick flip job boop and let me show you what's been happening uh since the last time you guys saw it uh th well last episode if you guys didn't catch it go catch it we built this really awesome underground storage it's literally one of my all-time favorite on the ground storages um i love all my storages but this one's really cool it's really special because it's, it's it's detailed but it's compact it's not too crazy big and we started organizing so i started putting all, all of our item frames up uh, i have finally we filled out all the chests here but we're still need more items to fill it all in look at my organizational skills though look at this bam Bam, 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 bam. Look at all those organizations right here. <laughs> so good. Uh, so we got all of our stones on this side. Uh, we got grass, gravel, or uh, clay deposits right there. We don't have that much. Uh, a little bit of sand in here. Some glass on this side. Uh, over here, we got all of our wood. We still need to go adventure to find more wood. We need jungle. We need acacia. We need um, dark oak is the main one. And we're going to put them on this side. Miscellaneous stuff over here. So these are all of our oaks here. We even got the, uh, the bark wood blocks ready to go. All the, uh, the, the planks, stairs, slabs trap doors everything we need is all over here even birds <laughs> so uh, and then all of our organics are over here uh, which is pretty cool we got all of our sugar cane sugar paper all organized uh, all of our flowers and berries and everything going around over here a little bit of wool set up right here a little bit of honey also some eggs and this is what we're doing today oh baby oh and look at those diamonds look at all these diamonds we have rich it's horrible. We need to go mining a little more. But today we're gonna be doing a chicken uh, coop farm, chicken farm. We're gonna listen. We're gonna do a chicken compound. Not only just for regular chickens, but we're gonna have all kinds of super chickens, GMO friendly, farm raised, organic chickens. All kinds of chickens are gonna go. No, it's gonna be cool. I'm thinking about making a little bit of a chicken coop, but uh, surrounded in a nice little wooden wall. Uh, also maybe like a little hatchery section. I don't think I'm gonna do an automatic chicken cooker yet because I want to have stuff to upgrade to. Like you notice, like we did with the bees, uh, we didn't go straight automation. We went with basic, uh, just uh, an apiary, right? Apiary? Apiary, right? So uh, I want to do the same thing for the chickens. I want to make a nice little chicken coop area. It's going to be so much fun. I got so many ideas. But uh, later on, we're going to upgrade little by little just so we can have goals, right? Start small, work your way up. That's how I like to do it. But... We're going to be doing that today. And then look at this organization. Come on. But also, let's go outside real quick. Let me show you other things that I've been working on. Because, I, I, man, I came back from my trip yesterday, but I didn't record. I was just chilling. But uh, on top of chilling, you know, me and Bubbles are hanging out. You know, we're having a good time. If you want to see pictures of Bubbles, go, go check out the Twitter as well. <laughs> but pictures of Bubbles. Uh, what's up, girl? But uh, I started adding a couple extra bits over here to this area. So let me show you one of the things that I added. And I love, oh, I love my my little um, uh, Hobbit vault. That's what we called the last episode. Is a Hobbit-like vault uh, area. Look at it with a nice little circular edges. Super cool. Bees are hanging out over there. But check out what I did. Watch this. Come with me. Remember there was a little lake here? no longer a lake uh i got rid of it it was still it was kind of small uh, i didn't see a purpose in it so i wanted to add more crop fields so i decided to go and make this little thing so we made a couple of them already in the past so I, you didn't need to see this thing it's really very simple but if you notice there's absolutely no crops here yet but 
if we get a little closer, we got, finally, finally, we got some carrots, and they're growing. I don't think it's ready yet, but I, I actually got this from a mob. I killed a zombie, uh, and he dropped one. I was like, what? And I was like, is that for real? Is that thing really happened? I think there's like a 2% chance. Uh, so I got uh, one of the carrots ready. So it grew a little, it grew up, right? and so I added another one. Eventually, this whole thing will be filled with carrots. So we finally have carrots it is in the arsenal of our crops. So I did this cool little thing. But also, uh, let me show you one more thing. We named, finally, all of our tools, except for one. I'm gonna ask your opinion on, on one of the names on one of them, but let me uh, go over here. Let me just stand right here. It's a nice little spot. Am I gonna get attacked here? Oh, look, and we got finally all of our potatoes are ready to go. Oh, so cool, right? But really quick, let me show you what we got as far as names. Thank you all so much for all the suggestions too. So let me grab our first one. Ready? One, two, three. This is our sword. Let me grab my piece of paper. Hold on real quick, real fast. Hold on, real, real fast. Hold on, I got it. I, I wrote it down in my little noob. Okay, here we go. Um, so here we go. The sword is officially called, drum roll please. Bam! Oh, that hurt a little bit. Boom! The B-Blade! And look at all the stuff we added to the B-Blade. The only thing we're missing right now is uh, mending. Everything else is ready to go and so awesome. We got sharpness, fire aspect, sweeping edge, unbreaking, looting, knockback, everything we need but mending. We still gotta do mending. I have absolutely zero mendings right now, so we gotta figure out a way. Maybe villagers very, very soon, but uh, for this one, who did it? Who, who named this? Tyler! Tyler, my friend Tyler named this thing. Thank you so much, Tyler, for the B-Blade. So that was awesome. Now, for the pickaxe, watch this. This one was awesome, because the second I saw this, I, I got uh, sucked back into my Avengers Endgame Infinity War life. So right here, boom, Stone Breaker. Come on, and I added another efficiency in there. So it's efficiency five officially with Unbreaking and Fortune. This one, oh, I heard a beep pop. Hey, beep. Uh, th this one was from uh, Javier Rodrigo. Thank you so much. So it's technically a Storm Breaker, but Stone Breaker. Come on, this is like a beautiful play on words that I love my Marvel, love my Avengers Endgame Infinity War. Now this one, the Honey Scooper, baby. <laughs> this was awesome. So our Silk Touch Unbreaking Efficiency Four Honey Scooper. This was from, who is holding? Okay. Uh, Strusty, my, my, my friend Strusty. Strusty, thank you so much for that beautiful name. But you know what? The only one I don't have, I don't have one for my axe. Put hashtag axe. Let me know what to call this beautiful axe. And guess what I did add to it? We added Silk Touch too. That's right. So we got Silk Touch, Unbreak it, and Efficiency on this beautiful axe. And technically now, we can go ahead and transport any of the, uh, the nests, right? The bees nest. Now, since we do have uh, uh, a Silk Touch on this beautiful thing thing. But <laughs> that is so awesome. But also, we got one more name. And it's inside right here we named our op fishing rod finally and guess what let me see if i can find where's my name hold on i, I lost did i lose this thing hold on i got it here it is all right ready so here it comes our fishing rod name is oh god i'm stuck hold on is excuse me can i get up here thank you boom Dwayne the rod johnson come on <laughs> What's the coolest thing? Uh, this one was from uh, the Wafflesaurus, baby. Thank you so much, Dwayne the Rod Johnson. Come on, that's amazing, man. You see Dwayne the Rod Johnson in the next Fast and Furious movie. But that's so cool. So we got all of our stuff named. The only thing we need, really, uh, is our uh, our X. So uh, thank you guys so much for those amazing suggestions. And you know what? Oh, world, well, this look is so good. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Oh, man. Oh, let's just do a little walk around. This place is looking so nice. I even cleared little spots. We're gonna build some stuff here. I think we're gonna do uh, a little greenhouse on top of this hill right here. We got that cleared up and ready to go. Look at that beautiful tower as the sun's going down. Uh, but I also picked out a really good spot for our chicken compound. That's what I'm gonna call it. The chicken compound, baby. Um, so I'll show you that in a second. But even before that, I did one more little, little tiny little thing, thing, thing of cam, cam, cam. It's right here. <laughs> Remember when I said I wanted to make like a little vine uh, wall just to, to collect vines? This is our little vine room. That's it. That's all it is. A little hole um, right here on the side. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So just grab uh, your uh, shears and just go to town right here. Watch. Boom. So easy. So simple. But so pretty at the same time. Look at that. That's it. All we got to do is come on in here and just hit a couple of these little vines down. And so far, I've got a really good amount, right? Watch this. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Look at that. <laughs> almost, uh, um, oh wait, hold on. That's almost three stacks, but check that out. Isn't that a cool little spot? Just a simple a little, uh, it looks like a mine entrance kind of thing. So what do you guys think of that? Is that cool? <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. But you know what? It's time to get the building. Uh, so yeah, let me make it daytime. Let me grab some materials together, and I'll show you the spot. Oh, Bubbles House. Bubbles never comes in here. So always hanging out wh wherever I am. Daisy. 
<laughs> that slow turn though. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get this started. So this is the spot that I have picked out. It's a perfect little spot right here next to our animal pen. And look at this area, right? Isn't this pretty cool? We also got this little path that can go around and we can build more stuff on this end too. And this little cave, that it goes nowhere. It literally stops right there. Of course, like every cave in this area. So whatever, it's fine. Uh, but right here, this is the spot I picked out. Uh, so it's really cool. I think um, we're gonna take uh, most of this space for chickens. Isn't that pretty cool? Our chicken coop is gonna be bigger than our animal pens for our sheep and our cows. Oh man, I gotta do a little bit of shearing a little bit of slaughter jobs over there that's fine but um let me show you what i got in mind so i want to build like a little bit of a wooden wall kind of like the wall we were thinking about doing here for our crops a little wooden circular kind of little uh, organic shape so i want to do that i want to make that the main structure kind of like blocking in the chickens from leaving um and then also in certain spots maybe a little spot back here uh, and then over here we can have uh almost like little structures for them so i'm thinking about a little hatchery back here and then over here on this side we can have almost like a little uh, kind of like a spot so if it's raining they can hide in there maybe have a, a a little spot for them to chill out okay away from from everything and then i want to have these little mini coops that i built in our first single uh player world season one part of the world uh in our chicken coop there we have these tiny little baby uh chicken coops i want to build that too so bring us some new school old school uh, together so uh first things first though i want to make sure let's see how we can line this up so first off let's line it up uh around here so i'm gonna do a mix of oak and spruce and maybe strip a few of them but let's see how we're gonna do this i think these trees i'm gonna leave them so let's go maybe from here let's just do let's just place logs down and then we'll come back here and we'll design it so something like this just going all the way around like that kind of organic and a little organic shape right so just let's just do this all in oak for now that's fine and then we'll come back uh, and we'll texture it and make it look nice. So something like this coming around they may be curving out this way That's fine. That's like that. Don't worry. Uh, so something like this they come back Come around this direction maybe come around here and then let's take this curve like the natural curve of the actual spot here And then I want to leave like a little path around here so we can go around into whatever that is So let's not take it too close to this edge here uh, Something like so and then this kind of curves back around this way now. So something like this uh, maybe this could maybe stretch out a little more and then curve back in something like that And this will be our front entrance right about here. So giving it a space of maybe Let's do a three spacer. So something like that I think enough space here in the front so we could go around and look in uh, like this So it's not gonna be too big, but it, it's still pretty big, but so not too, nothing too crazy So something like this, but it, again the chickens we need to play uh, at least place this uh, at least a block and a half to two blocks high uh, So what I'm gonna do is really quick. Let me do this off cam again I'm just gonna come back in here and just swing around and make it look a little bit more presentable Maybe put some slabs some stairs some trap doors Do a little bit of a mix of different blocks and just go all the way around just to make sure the chickens have no way to escape Because they're never leaving all right, check this out. So this is what I had in mind. It looks really, really cool. I actually decided to go with some stripped birch. So birch like that, but birch like this, ooh, I love it. I love it so much. And then here's where I got these little chicken coop pods here. I'm gonna have a little one over here, a little one over here. There's a little overhanging uh, little bit here that could just, maybe with campfire blocks, we might make a pretty cool um, roof for that. And then I went with a diagonal idea on this corner bit. So I think this is gonna be cool. Our first real official diagonal here in this world well no not in the world uh because it's an old world we had it for 145 uh, episodes or something uh, 150 something how many episodes we got so far but um our first diagonal here in the new area uh so i'm gonna go ahead and work that out here and i'm gonna be bringing in um the, the, i think oak log will be the primary uh corner blocks here and it kind of like goes right up against this thing so let's build a little bit of this together so i'm thinking right here one two three and four on the corner bit so on this one here on this one over here and i think is this hold on this is the corner over here hold on that's the corner here and then one two three and then this is the corner over here yeah i think so i think this is the corner over here so one two three and four so we got this going up and this going up here and then let's lift this one up and then i'm thinking about in the middle Bringing in that strips, um, strip birch again, uh, maybe mixing it in with regular oak. And on the roof, I think I'm going to go with just plain spruce on the top. Uh, and then we're going to have an opening here uh, in the middle so our chickens could do our, ha our little hatchery area over here. So that's going to look pretty cool. Maybe have some windows in the sides. I'm not sure if it even needs windows, but we'll see. Um, but for right now, I think this is good, leaving a spruce border on the bottom. And then on the tippy top, uh, let's come in here with, let's bring some of the, I need to get more 
more birch. <laughs> Whoever thought I would have said that. Uh, so something like this. I know it looks ugly for now, but just leave it. It's fine. You'll see. So something like this, like that, and then maybe bring in another little bit of this. And then we can strip those, go it around, like that. Okay, simple, I like that. And then we can do the same thing over here. So let me lift this one up a two, maybe one here, maybe one here, here, and maybe one more, like so. And then we can strip these right there. Look at that, that color contrast, so nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these on the bottom. You know what I might replace this with? How about this? Let me know what you guys think of this. Get some, that we bring, yeah, some barrels on the bottom. We can use it, well, one, for aesthetic purposes. Yes, that looks good. And then also, we can put storage in there. That looks cool. Uh, so yeah, we can just go ahead and just wrap this all the way around. So let me do this really quick. I'm just gonna wrap this style all the way around. Then we'll work on the roof. All right, so check it out. This is what I got in mind right here. And it looks really, really cool. So we got this cool little bit of texturing here with the oak plank and the uh, stripped uh, birch, which it looks awesome. And then over here, I went with, I'm gonna go with this, just slabs for now, all the way around. Then we're gonna go with slabs right on the top edge all the way around here uh, I don't know if I want to slab step pattern it all the way up we'll see we'll see how we get to that but I'm gonna go all the way around just like so and then once we get to this I'm gonna go ahead and yeah you know what I think I'm gonna do like a little slab step pattern oh, I fell so let me see how it looks like from here uh, let's check this out so uh, something like that yeah I don't know if I want one in these edges I think I might just to round it off. So yeah, let me go ahead. I'm gonna put these on these edges. And then I think for the middle, this is perfect little entryway. And then we'll set up like a little bit of a hatchery spot over here. Uh, and I think that'll be okay. So I'm thinking, the, as far as the roof, I think I'm gonna slab it all the way up. Uh, and then on the corner bits like this. So yeah, let me, let me work on this little part. I think I'm just gonna go slab all the way around. Just go all the way around like this, just all the way. And then just meet up in a center point. Uh, and I think that should be just fine. And if anything, we can break it up like we've been doing a little rustic look uh, and then do something like that. So let me set this up and see if we can make it look cool. And I'll be right back with you guys. I think it should be simple. It just slabs all the way up, just in this little pattern. All right, I did it. Let's check this out. Let's see what it looks like from over here. Oh, that's perfect, I think. Oh, come on, hold on. I think that's really good. Let's go ahead and get a little bit farther back. Oh, that looks great from over here. And it's like a straight st uh, step up pattern all the way around. That looks good. But you know what? I will break it up. <laughs> I will make it look a little bit more messed up. Uh, to mess it up, I think easy, super simple. Just knock some of these down, replace some of these with stairs in certain spots, just like that. Non pattern looking, uh, but in certain spots, just like this. There we go. And that breaks it up just a little bit. On the top, maybe we could add some uh, trap doors and maybe some holes in there that maybe you can have some bush go through. Uh, but I'll set that up in a second. Now, for this part over here, really super simple. I just expanded this just by an extra one. So we got this log and then this log right here. Then, her bag. Uh, and then, <laughs> only thing we're going to do is probably just do something like this going down like so. Uh, and then giving it like a little bit of an overhang bit. So maybe you go down like that. And then maybe in the center, uh, let's get some trap doors. So something simple like that going down. And then maybe some campfire blocks. Did we bring any? Yes, we did. And then I can maybe put these off to the side. Oh, that's a little bit too low. Maybe I can put it on the tippy top. Oh, wait, is this is so tight. This is so tight. Oh, I love that. Um, so let's uh, jump up here real fast. And I think we can set something up right here. So maybe with campfire blocks right on the edges like this. Oh, yes. Yeah, like that. And then maybe take it. Uh, there we go. Take it back. Like so. Oh, wait. Let me, let's me let extinguish some stuff. So take it back. Ow. Like this. I gotta make a data. Uh, so something like so. I think we have enough. And I just take this all the way back. I think that'll be pretty cool. And maybe a little bit of an overhang bit just with a trap door, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. So I'll set this up. Let me break up that roof. And then we'll do these little minis uh, on the corners here. And that's going to be the cool part. And let me make it daytime. Hold on. Oh, baby, check this out. So I'm super happy with how this is turning out so far. So we got that all broken up. We got a little bit of boosh going through, uh, a little bit of overgrown on the inside. And this is our little chicken coop that I did. I made a tutorial on this a long time ago. Uh, it's a little bit of a modified version of it, but I really do like it. And it's almost like our egg hatchery. So down here, we're going to uh, pretty much get all the eggs from the, the, the chickens we throw in there. And I got some eggs, so we'll, we'll see if we can get some in there. But it's super cool. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's so easy. All you need is this little spot right here. Um, I got andesites here in the corner just to give it a little bit more structure. 
and then some regular old spruce right here. Uh, in the center, let me grab some chests. So we need to uh, do a little double chest right there, which should be perfect. Then on the top, we're gonna get a little hopper just facing straight down into that. And then we're gonna just put a couple walls. Could be any kind of wall around the sides. I'm gonna go uh, with these lovely old cobble walls, but you can go with stone walls, really any wall. Uh, it could be any material, really. Uh, and then over here, this serves as two purposes. Well, one, it looks awesome because they're barrels, but you can store more eggs around that. That looks awesome. Uh, in the center here, I'm gonna put a little bit of a carpet. Uh, I don't know if that's still a glitch or anything that the, the chickens get stuck inside a hopper but for now just in case you know leave it there uh that was fine uh then i'm gonna grab trap doors i'm gonna put them on the bottom so it's some uh right here uh on the bottom end of that uh, uh hopper right there so it's gonna look pretty cool then uh what we're gonna do is i'm gonna grab some stairs i'm gonna put them upside down on all these corners here so the uh the chickens don't move around outside of this little circle right here well this little one block gap uh and then i'm gonna grab trap doors we're gonna put them on top of these barrels just like so and then on these, we're gonna grab some slabs. I'm gonna go with regular old oak slabs. I'm gonna go all the way around like this, put that one on the side. And then, then I put one on top, you said I did. Uh, and then we're gonna put, I'm just gonna double it up right here. Uh, and that's perfect, that's all we need. And then, watch this, we're gonna grab some rails, and we're gonna put a rail here, and a rail here. Then, we're gonna get rid of that rail on the inside, grab that back. Uh, and then, we're gonna grab our trapdoor right here. I'm gonna put the oak one so we can see through it, and that's it, that's all there is to it. Look how simple that is, I love it. I was gonna put another one here, but I don't know if it might be too packed. I, want it, I don't wanna be too cramped up. Here we can have just an open space, uh, and then one on each side, and it's not centered or anything, which is kinda cool. We could even add one more there maybe I don't know uh, and then back here we kind of have this open I do want to maybe put some fences and get a little more nice around here but uh, let's see if we can get some eggs in here make a couple of babbies here uh, let's see if we can get some uh, if anything we can go in from the top just in case we really don't need this trap door here uh, but you know what let's just throw them in here and see if we can get at least one come on babies please oops come no um no oh no oh no oh there uh, no don't leave me you get the picture though. <laughs> We're gonna have to. If anything, just throw them in here, make some more babies, man. Oh, uh, come on. That's it. Oh, no, we just have one. All right, I'll get to see if I can get some more. But you are inaugural chicken, everyone. In the comment section, put hashtag chicken. Name this beautiful chicken boy for you. <laughs> but uh, let me just finish off a, a couple things here. Just gonna put uh, just some coarse turf, some ponzo, a little bit of gravel, maybe a little bit of uh, flowers and uh, bushy bush and stuff, make it look a little bit more livable. And, and I'll add a little more details here. Uh, pretty much here, just put almost like a little bit of a hatchery shelving unit kind of thing, uh, make it look pretty cool. But yeah, we're almost done. But our inaugural chicken, baby, let's go. You should have been in there. All right, you know what? I think we're good to go. Bubbles been inspecting the places. He was like, Sauce, stop it. Okay, no more details. You're good to go. Just, just show the people okay and i was like bubbles you know what okay that's fine <laughs> but i really love how this little chicken coop compound hatchery place uh came out it's so awesome let me know what you guys think let's take a little walk and let me show you what kind of details we have in store right now bubbles you ready let's go <laughs> so as we come on down the little path going all the way in it is looking awesome i still gotta do a little bit more custom tree work a little bit more stuff on the outside but check that out isn't that cool look at that we got a bunch of chickens already set up uh and i got some on the inside as well so let's go on the inside oh, bubbles wait right here she'll probably eat them all stay right there don't you eat our chicken uh i, I like you know wait uh, but look at this. This is so good. So we got a couple chickens in there already. Let's see if they're laying any eggs yet. We got two eggs. It's fine. Over here, let's see what we got. Um, oh, yeah, I murdered one. But it's, it's fine. Uh, so it's looking awesome. Now, we got the chickens here hanging out. We got some hay bales on the bottom. We got our eggs down here. But something we need to do is very soon. I think in the next episode, we're going to do some exploring. I want to see if we can find a coral reef. We got silk touch so we can bring back some amazing uh, uh, coral. Some, some The actual fans. It's Look, it's so good. If you grab a yellow coral fan, you put it down here, right where this is at, right here, just like pretty much shift click and put it right down there. It looks like a nice little nest. So we'll go ahead and set that up. And we got it ready to go for the next time. But over here, we got these two little double doors kind of opened up. And we got our other hatcheries over here. So we got some on the top and then some on the bottom. Also, you know, they're hanging out in there. Well, give me that egg. Uh, so these are just, oh, you want to go in there with your mommy and daddy? Go on in. No? Okay. Uh, and then we got a couple on each side. And it's just for aesthetics. So we can come in here manually collect the eggs, but I think we're good to go. And it looks so nice, right? I like that. A good little design and a diagonal. Uh, and the breakage on the top looks so good with the bush. Added some overgrown, added some path block, a little bit of um, coarse dirt. 
Podzel, uh, some uh, Masi as well, uh, but it's looking so cool. Also some lights uh, just randomly scattered around and it's perfectly fine. I don't think they can get out anywhere here. So everything is at least a block and a half. So they're safe and they won't be coming out anytime soon. And let's see if we can make a couple more random babies, please. Yes, very nice. One more random, yeah, one more. One more? One more. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> but it is looking so good. Eventually, we will be adding an automatic chicken cooker. I don't think I'm going to put it in here because that's kind of mean. You know, they're going to grow up in here. Uh, but we can maybe do a little cooker back here. Uh, maybe uh, inside that little cave or something. We can have a little hidden spot. Or maybe a building on its own just back here on the side. Uh, a little uh, a a chicken barbecue spot or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? But, man, I had so much fun building up this chicken coop compound hatchery place. Uh, me and Bubbles are going to sign out for now. But we'll be back very, very soon. Let me know what you want to see next what should we be building in this area uh I, i'm so excited just to keep going i got so many things so many ideas eventually we're gonna head over to our village over there and do a village upgrade and i think i might take inspiration over that uh that village transformation we did that add all those profession builds i think we might bring that over here in our single player world back there and do a cool little wall do a little castle there eventually but let me know you, what you guys want to see there's so many other things we could do we could do a um well the chicken cooker could be coming up next we can actually upgrade our bees and do automatic bee farm kind of thing um maybe we could do a uh, a, a pumpkin uh, or melon farm or something like that we don't have melons though pumpkin farm maybe a pumpkin farm maybe so a sugar cane farm maybe oh man maybe we just, uh, so many things <laughs> we can do uh, but let me know what you guys want to see next i'm out of here for now though thank you so much for watching thank you for hanging out with me on the first video here in a single player world for 2020 and i'll see you guys on the next one goodbye bubbles you ready for your chicken boop that was raw though i'm sorry Please don't poop all over the place.